Howdy cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're going good. We've been flat knacker again. Heaps of nice stuff. I really like these little novelty sort of plastic sailor boy brooches with the googly eyes. Orange one and a red one and the little one there with a chap with his sort of profile. A little blue plastic one over the back. Nice pair of the sterling silver bonbon dishes. There's some Mont Blanc pens. There's a lovely silver pendant with a sort of chaparis like um, figure. Nice little sterling silver aeroplane brooch. Nine carat gold men's signet ring. Really cool ballerina belt buckle. These little bracelets are nice, although I keep wanting to eat them. I think that I keep thinking that they're lollies. Big amber, tumbled amber. You've got some nice pearls over the back and some cool other sort of 80s plastic jewellery. I've got some other nice things in amongst the jewellery cabinet as well. But I'm not showing you everything. Then you won't have any surprises tomorrow. <laughs> now, what have we got here? The three musketeers. Give or take. Big ceramic Buddha is fantastic. He's got wear on his belly. A little Sato healthcare innovation. Little Japanese sort of figure to go out the front of a chemist. And little Eddie Munster. Well, someone like that, although he ain't got the right little widow's peak. But he's fantastic little shop display mannequin dressed up as a goth. This is pretty cool, the cast iron sort of novelty butler card tray, which looks to have been converted to a lamp. Really nice big display cabinet. All complete and original with all the glass shelves and extra brackets and the mirrored sliding back doors. What else have we got? A nice Epiphone uh, semi-acoustic guitar, the old EL00. We've got lots of nice military badges and buttons and other little buttons and things. This is some cool jewellery. These little novelty earrings are made by Kate Durham, D-U-R-H-A-M. There's some more of her jewellery as well. Some nice paperweights. These are really nice little sort of Art Deco bather, bathing girl brooches. Some more cool sort of kitsch earrings. Heaps of cereal toys. Postcards and other sort of trading cards and stuff. What else have we got? Some more vintage men's and ladies clothing. Dress patterns. Fishing gear, boxes of sort of bottles and things like that, and vintage motoring magazines. This is a cool old um, ceiling light fitting, which is apparently out of an old Red Rattler train. Someone was in before telling me. It's upside down here, but it's a cool thing. Bottles of unopened red, some sort of blokey gear, jerry cans and stuff, some ladies' clothing accessories. Some cool little outdoor, little elephant plant stands and things like that. What else have we got? She's nice. The big sort of um, embroidery wall hang. Little kitchen step stool. Really like these ebonized and hand gilded Victorian chairs. They both need reupholstery. They're just nice things. It's a nice big sort of modernist arc lamp. Needs a little bit of a tidy up up the top there. That's on the nice big sort of heavy weighted base. A Tessa swivel armchair, black leather. There you go, doll's house with heaps of sort of doll's accessories and miniatures and stuff to go with it. Big lot of cane. Some good records. These are pretty cool, the old sort of sign lettering with the metal frames surrounding them. B-R-E. I just couldn't get the R around the right way. Stereo gear, souvenir dolls, Magic the Gathering cards, more sort of signage letters, more signage letters, lamps, mixed lot of furniture, nice little red enameled modern sort of Dalton brand little chest. He's nice, a little Art Deco pedestal table. Got more boxes of stuff, pretty cool little gramophone. And these things, Mrs. Flower Power. Gigantic size vases made by Cartel, designed by Philippe Stark. All the details around the bottom. Pretty cool things. They're sort of large vases, but they actually are planters, although there's not a great deal of room down the top. But they are massive. I think I could almost fit inside one of them. Really cool. What else have we got? Some nice tins, sort of modern street sign tins. This is a big sort of folding sort of screen room divider. Haven't got many pictures this week. 
<laughs> We've got this nice sort of watercolour by Mary Talbot, 1957. It's a good thing. She's one of those artists that get overlooked a bit. This is pretty amazing. The big Rapunzel's over giant size sort of hair comb shop display. Some nice tins. You've got the BP with the nice shell uh, barrel, donkey engine, nice SO in the Anagile, little shell handy oil. This is the Ripper, the Fisher Price plastic record player. Good little scratch built HO gauge. Uh, T Class Diesel Loco with the Vic Rail livery or livery, however you pronounce it. But you can't buy that in a shop. Someone's actually built that themselves. He's a ripper. Some retro plastics. The little Gazzini picnic set is not complete. You've got the cool blue sunbeam. This nice little woodcut there. It's unsigned. That Gazzini one's complete. These nice little melons, food melons, little sort of jars with their nice original lids on them. You've got one chef. And you've got that chef. A couple of nice clocks. Got heaps of keys to go with them. I'm guessing one of them's going to fit. Hey, hey, it's yesterday. I don't know. That's what it says. What else have we got? Funnily enough, the oversized sign's pretty big. Some nice modern decorative ceramics. Interesting little box of mixed goodies with some old swatch watches. Nice little collection of young'uns clocks. As this is a really nice, good quality English Victorian porcelain, but all with a little bit of damage. I think there's a crack in that cup. So nice, there's a crack in the Minton's moustache cup, or there's a cup a crack in the saucer. All right. Really nice 1930s parasol with the poker work handle with a nice little bowler hat. You've got the cool little uh, Gazzini again. Another nice little picnic set. Some nice globes. Some CJ Dennis books. Really nice little milk bar syrup dispenser, a little bank of four. There's a little ripper. These are some great records in here. Bit of John Lee Hooker original singles and stuff. They're all in great condition. A little collection of tins. Some cassettes. Cool little lot of tin signs. You've got the sold. You've got Oxo cubes and gold flake tobacco. Fantastic little retro poodle lamp with the original sort of two-tier shade australian pottery got some more cool costume jewelry and other stuff i like these big sort of carved stone uh, doorstops little cupy wall plaques i think one of them signed bexley what else do we got he's great the grog decanter he's scrubbing the decks you got the jim beam poodle decanter you got the cowboy jim beam decanter a nice Empoli, I think, Italian glass poodle decanter. A couple of bubble heads. Oh, actually, there's some more nice jewellery here, and they're the other Kate Durham earrings. They're good fun, little sort of bikini or gym sort of girls. There is another one in there. But they are cool. Um, there's some nice stuff. The card tray. Some nice big natural stone necklaces he's cool the sort of converted eiffel tower bottle into a lamp got a lovely sort of syrup or malt dispenser nice bit of deco huntley australian pottery wall pocket a couple of nice little ep babies rattles You've got this really cute little sort of kids tea set nice arnott's tin with the paper label george jensen stainless bowl a nice little retro lady head vase Really nice woven sort of brass bag. Big hobnail cut sterling silver perfume flask. The golden fleece boomeroo. He's a ripper. He's back. We've got this nice poodle perfume lamp. Another lady head. Another lady head. We've got the pair of the poodle figures. She's nice, the bronze stylized girl. He's blowing out some tune saxophone style. Ripper of a wind toy, the crane truck. Don't think you'll find one of these in better condition. Nice pair of Ellis figures. Nice bit of deco. Another lovely sort of sterling silver mounted. And this watercolour over the back. It's a good bit. It's got details on the back. David Cox is handwritten. And then there's another note underneath saying a gift. A wedding present from J.C. Horsley. 
So we've put it in the circle of David Cox. All right. It's a good thing. There are better images of this on the website. And the person who gave it, JC Horsley, is a good painter too. This is a good thing. Anyway, that'll do. You know me, I could talk shit for another 10 minutes. But we'll see you hopefully tomorrow night, guys. Be good. Take care.